Hey y'all, this is DD Double Diamond and this is part two of my AP Teemo Middle Guide. In part one we went over Masteries, Runes, Summoner Spells, Teemo Spells, and Teemo Spell Order. We also touched on Lane Phase, but let's be honest, Teemo's Lane Phase is one of the strongest in the game. His innate damage due to his Toxic Shot, combined with his powerful Blind and Vision Control with Noxious Trap, makes Teemo a very difficult opponent for most of mid and top champions regardless of Teemo's build. However, where most players begin struggling is when the game progresses into mid and late game. Due to Teemo's lack of hard CC and his unique playstyle with Noxus Trap, Teemo is a difficult champion to transition into mid and late game where you can no longer rely on Teemo's pressure in a 1 vs 1 lane. Therefore, for part 2, we will be going over how to progress into mid and late game as Teemo, and how to remain not only relevant in teamfights, but a dominating force. Once the game has passed beyond the lane phase, each player has four key decisions to make. Number one, will I continue to farm or will I group with the team? Number two, how will I act during an objective siege? Number three, how will I act during an objective defense? And finally, number four, how will I act during a team fight? We will be going over each of these key four points in depth. All champions tend to have a power spike when they reach a certain level and a certain item. For example, a level 11 fiddlesticks with hourglass is a lot more effective than a level 9 fiddlesticks without hourglass. For AP Burst Teemo, the critical power spike is at level 9 when Lich Bane is completed and you have level 5 blinding dart. Therefore, until you reach this threshold, it's important that you spend your time farming. Most games, you'll have this item long before lane phase ends. You'll find that when Lich Bane is completed, your burst potential increases substantially. For the next three questions, we will assume you've completed Lich Bane, and thus will be able to group with the team whenever feasible. On to question two, how will I act during an objective siege? First, we'll need to define what objective siege means for those who do not understand. To siege an objective means to group as a team and force an objective down, such as a tower or a dragon. It becomes a siege if the enemy team is gathered in defense of the objective, and thus a team fight is likely to break out. How each champion acts during a siege relies entirely on their role and abilities. A long range carry with an escape, such as a Caitlyn or Tristana, typically auto attacks the tower every chance they can to take it down. Lower range carries, such as Vayne, find it difficult to auto attack the tower without being caught by the enemy tank. Most mages that build Lich Bane act similarly to a carry, in that it's their job to assist with the tower damage. When it's safe to land an auto attack on the tower, cast move quick, auto attack the tower once, and back off immediately. Depending on your AP, that single auto attack could do anywhere from 200 to 600 damage to the objective. While you're waiting for your next chance to attack the tower, lay shrooms in a defensive pattern around your siege line to give your team a safe area to retreat to should the enemy hard engage. During dragon or baron sieges, lay shrooms in the area that the enemy is likely to attack from. This will both delay their advance and soften them up with AoE damage, allowing your team to turn around and engage the enemy. So now for a quick example. I place some Noxus traps around this tower's area and ward below it to see any oncoming enemies. The tower is already low, so after we destroy it we move on to the next tower. You'll see that I place a Noxus trap at the top entrance in the jungle to block any enemies from coming from that direction. As Thresh is the only active threat in this area, I stand behind the canyon minion for safety, which allows me to freely attack the tower. After a few seconds, we kill the tower despite their engage, completing the objective. The third question is, how will I act during objective defense? Teemo lacks any range to harass or effective late clear. Therefore, during the defense of an objective, such as a tower, it is important that you lay down defensive shrooms around the tower. This will greatly increase your tower's defense by making it much more difficult for the enemy to tower dive. You can also cast Blinding Dart and land an auto attack on any melee enemy that gets too close to your tower. Depending on your build progression, that harass can be very punishing to a tank or bruiser that wander too close. If you can manage to burst an enemy squishy champion, such as their AD carry, Without getting caught, you can potentially force the enemy team to back off entirely. Now for the hardest question and one where most team of players fall short in effectiveness. How should I act during a team fight? The answer depends on several factors and I will do my best to explain them as clearly as possible. First, it depends on your champion and build. Obviously, a Leona has a much different job during a team fight than an AP brand. AP burst Teemo with Lich Bane has a distinct job both before and during the team fight. Before a fight, an effective team will anticipate a team fight in a specific area and lay down a few key shrooms before the battle even begins. We will go into specific shroom locations in another video. During the battle, AP Burst Teemo's job is to burst down squishy champions using Blinding Dart and Lichbane proc auto attacks combined with Toxic Shot. 
you'll find that even with only a few items, Teemo can do upwards of 80% for Squishy Champion's HP and a single Q auto attack combo. Try to weasel around the enemy tanks by using Move Quick to get closer to the Squishy Champions. Ideally, you'll want to go for the enemy AD carry, but this might not always be feasible. This brings us to the next major factor in how any champion behaves during a teamfight, the enemy composition. If the enemy is effectively blocking your attempts to get to their AD carry, it might be more effective to go for a tankier target such as Lee Sin or Tarek. This might press you into more of a peel role for your own AD carry as opposed to bursting down enemy squishy champions. However, Teemo is a fantastic peel champion. His blinding dart burst and AoE slows with Noxious Trap make it difficult for most bruisers and tanks to damage your AD carry effectively. If you're finding it too difficult to land blows on the enemy squishy champions, don't be afraid to revert to a peel role to keep your AD carry safe. Now we'll go over a few examples of teamfights and how to position in them. You see here that my team just successfully took Dragon. Normally teams would back after this and go after a different objective, however my team really wants to fight this. My Leona engages but is quickly kicked away by Lee Sin Ultimate. I lay Shroom to the north in case we go that way, but my team goes south instead. Let's pause it for a few moments. Notice that before the fight even breaks out, I have placed two Noxus traps in key locations. These not only provide vision of the bushes they are in, but they also give us directions to retreat to or kite into should the enemy chase us. We're attempting to leave when our Leona surprises us by hard engaging on their Tristana. Let's pause one more time. Notice that I am unable to get to the enemy squishy champion, so instead I blind and auto attack Shyvana to give our Caitlyn some breathing room. I ultimately do this twice, which not only may have saved Caitlyn some time, it led to Shyvana's death. My team moves in to assist, and I try to help, but they're pushed too far away for me to assist over the wall. I attempt to go around, but Oriana does a really good job of zoning me and keeping me inside the dragon pit. As the team circle is around, I know I'm in trouble, but I do have flash up, so I'm not afraid to continue fighting until the last second. My E kills Shyvana, and I stay in a position to take out Tristana before she can jump over the wall. I now move down to make sure that their Orion and Lee Sin cannot escape from below, while my team makes sure that they cannot escape from above. While Lee Sin does ultimately get away, we capture Orianna. For this example, my team is pushing mid while I split push top against Lulu. My team takes down mid tower, which eventually leads to the team fight happening. I move in to assist with Vi flashing into me. I attempt to finish her off but I am unsuccessful. I lay a shroom that's hit by the minions so I can quickly kill Zara, and then I finish off Lulu with my Q. I dodge Sivir's Q with my hourglass, last hitting the turret before moving down to one shot Sivir. You'll notice that during this team fight, as opposed to the last one, I'm able to focus their squishy champions which allows me to one shot their Zareth, Sivir, and finish off their Lulu while ultimately surviving. That is the ideal position for Teemo, quickly finishing off his squishy champions while maneuvering around their tanks, avoiding their hard CC. To recap, farm up until you have Lich Bane and are level 9. During sieges, damage the tower whenever able and lay a line of Noxus traps to fall back to. For defensive sieges, lay traps around the objective to increase its safety. And for teamfights, focus on bursting their squishy's targets, or if unable to, peel for your AD carry. That wraps up part 2 of how to play AP Burst Teemo at a diamond level. My next video for Teemo will include when to split push, how to duel, how to use your passive effectively, and where to best lay noxious traps. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out my other videos.